Hi, it's Heather from Intentionally Fit Again, and I am going to do a Italian chicken crock pot. So um, I don't know if you're starting to see a pattern here, but this is how I cook. Uh, I am home all day long, but I homeschool my kids, and we tend to stay pretty busy. So uh, making big elaborate meals is kind of out of the question on the regular basis. Now. Um, I'm going to do a huge batch of this. So this is something that is excellent to do on the weekend, so to prepare your meals for the week. Um, there are probably six packages, yeah, I think I put six to eight packages of uh, boneless chicken breast in the crock pot. So I already did that and cut that up, and that probably took me about six minutes to get through it and get it in there. So whatever time it takes to put it in here, you're going to add six minutes on. So. Um, just for full disclosure. So, you're going to need a can of the fire roasted tomatoes or diced tomatoes, however you want to do it. You could use fresh tomatoes. It's just I don't. It's just this is something that's easier for me. Um, a green pepper. Oregano. I have sweet basil. I really like it inside my Italian dishes. Um, some people not so much. Uh, a little bit of black pepper garlic cloves, and an onion. So um, what I'm going to do is the same thing we tend to normally do. I'm going to um, take out the garlic and I'm going to crush it up. So we're going to throw that in there. I think you're going to hear some noise in just a minute. I think everybody in my family went outside and I think they're going to come inside in just a minute and they're going to try to be um, really quiet, but I don't think so, um, and actually this time I'm just going to put the crushed ones in there and I'm not going to even bother to slice it up. See, there they're coming in now and I'm already on the video. Oh. So, it's okay. This is how life works and I want you to know that this is not perfect by any sense of the imagination and we just go with it. Sometimes it's better that way. So, we've got the, the uh, garlic, we've got it uh, crushed and then I just kind of pulled it apart. Um, but you got to be not afraid to get your hands dirty. So um, that's for you, my friends, that don't like to touch chicken and food and stuff. Um, you're going to have to get over it. Your hands wash. Um, okay, so I've got the garlic in there. And I'm going to slice up the green pepper. Um, a lot of people are worried about their produce and where it comes from. Um, and if it has stuff on it, you can soak your vegetables in vinegar and it will help um, take some of that nastiness off of it and so um, and sometimes I've heard that it even takes the um, the wax off I'm not so sure about that but you know it helps so I'm just gonna slice these up they're just big slices and I'm gonna throw them in on top just like that I am NOT a fancy cutter just make sure you get all of this stuff. See this stuff right here? You don't want that. That's not going to taste good. So you're just going to want to cut that off. I'm sure that there's a fancy name for what that is. I just don't know what it is. So we're going to slice up these. La la la. Um, you could always get the pre, uh, pre-sliced peppers, the frozen uh, peppers, and that's okay. And I like to do my um, my onions kind of big and chunky. I also like them um, caramelized, so sometimes if I have a little extra time, I'll slice up my onions and my peppers and stuff, and I will roast them or cook them over the, um, on the cast iron skillet so that it gets a little bit um, caramelized before I put them in the crock pot and then I'll dump them in on top of it. But I only do that if I have time and it's, you know, not, not a big deal to do it. Um, I find that it's not a huge change in flavor, but I like it from time to time. So, I am just, whoa, that was loud. I'm just going to cut it, and this is a Vidalia onion. I mean, um, I've lived in Georgia for 15 years. This is the uh, I just moved to South Carolina. So, um, you kind of get stuck on Vidalia onions in Georgia. So, I'm just going to slice them up. I just kind of quartered them, and then I'm going to dump them in there. And they're kind of 
thick slices. They're not puny or anything like that. So this is going to be nice and hearty. And it's also so that you can pick them out if you don't like them. Because um, my kids won't eat onions. You know, they'll get there. So I've got all of the onions and the veggies in there. And now I'm going to take uh, a sprinkling of pepper. Not a lot if you don't like it very spicy. I'm going to take the sweet basil. And this is probably about one to two teaspoons worth. Um, maybe a little bit more. Um, just because I tend to dump oregano. We use a lot so I get these great big ones. My family loves noodles, so it's really hard to get them away from the noodle thing. Now, you can always use... Italian seasoning, and I know I have some in here, but I feel like I, I can get more of the um, flavors that I like if I just do them separately. And I don't know, let's see if you can see it. I just dumped them in there and I sprinkled everything over the top. So, again, put the tomatoes over the top, all over. Okay, now the chicken's going to make its own moisture and its own greases and juices, so you don't have to worry about it getting completely dry, but if it worries you, you can always add a little bit of water in the can, swirl it around and dump it on top, um, or a little bit of vegetable stock. I never worry about that. There always seems to be enough juice in there at the end when I'm done. So, I have, it looks like that. I don't know, can you see that? Ooh, yummy, yummy. So, we're going to stick that in there, and that is six minutes plus the six minutes ahead of time to take all the chicken out of the package. So that's 12 minutes, and that's going to last a whole week. So that's not hard. Do this on a day that you have plenty of time, and make two or three if you have more than one crock pot. Make a bunch of them, and then you can put them in individual servings um, and put them in the freezer, and then in the morning when you go to work or you get up, you just take them out, put them in the fridge, and put them in your lunchbox, and you've got something to go. So this is some of the things that I've been talking about. Plan ahead. It's not a big deal. It's taken 12 minutes today to be able to do it. Now you're going to have to count in the cooking time. So uh, that's this crock pot will probably take five hours or so because of how much chicken I put in there. Uh, and it depends on the crock pot. I said that before. It's just weird. Crock pots are weird that way. So, I'm going to put the lid on, I'm going to put it on low, and I'm going to let it cook all day long. So, there you go. Another crock pot meal in under 15 minutes. Hope you're having a great day. See you soon. Bye.